It is a procedure that helps treat unborn babies with anemia, and for the first time, it was done in Bay County. It's called para-umbilical blood sampling. A local maternal fetal medicine specialist is the only one in Bay County who can do it. News 13's Alex Bozarzian has more tonight on the life-saving procedure. Before meeting Dr. Jeff Livingston here at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center, Michelle Morris was traveling all the way to Pensacola to get the medical care she needed for her unborn baby. Good looking baby, right? With an RH negative blood type, Michelle Morris could have major pregnancy complications. If you don't know, it can lead up to heart failure and you can, pop, like, you can lose your baby. So being RH negative is very dangerous. But thanks to Dr. Livingston, her baby boy Grayson is as healthy as can be. Uh, women who have RH IC immunization, women who are RH negative, and they make antibodies that attack the baby's red blood cells if the baby's RH positive, and that can lead to anemia. Dr. Livingston, the only maternal fetal medicine specialist in the entire county, knew just what to do. We transfuse the baby through the mom's uh, abdomen to the umbilical cord. And, um, then retest the blood afterwards to see if the transfusion has been successful. It's a procedure only applicable to high risk pregnancies with a 5% chance the baby could die. This is one of the things that, that maternal fetal medicine specialists can make a difference in outcomes. You know, a lot of times we're just a lot of diagnosis and just watching type of things, but this is something we can actually do something about. To Morris, Livingston is a blessing and a hero. And when he came out, he was not anemic. My first was anemic. He'd have a blood transfusion two days later after he was born, but he came out healthy. Now just over two weeks old, baby Grayson is thriving, and Morris couldn't be more happy. She thanks everyone here at Gulf Coast Medical Center for their state-of-the-art care. Reporting in Panama City, Alex Bozargian, News 13, Panhandle Strong.